Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I'm excited! I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and not only did I actually find some miracle, miraculous half uh, 32 ounces of Decor Pouring Medium, I found this berry from Metallic's Americana Deco Art, and I mixed some up. Yes! And I want to make an obnoxious, or fun, or loud, or strange, <laughs> or all of the above landscape with some stripes. And so I'm trying to figure out where to start, and I think what I'm going to do is do something unusual and use my Anita's Metallic, if it will come out, as a base. Because now I can make some more. Yay! And I'm going to put some Venetian blue in there. And I'm going to put some black in there, which is another Anita's metallic. And I'm just looking for the strangest color combinations possible. And I think I can accomplish that pretty easily. I'm putting it in a deep container because it's so hot out here today that there's almost no chance the paint won't dry faster than I can put it down. So I'm kind of guessing that the deeper the container, the more likely I am to be able to salvage it. That is some decor. That's the same Americana paint with 24 karat gold with orange in it. This is a paint you can't get anymore, but it's deep teal iridescent. I'm just using all my favorite colors, figuring I'm going to scoop them out. I did not clear the tip on my gold. It's so hot out here, I came back out and the bottles that had sealed themselves already from having paint in the tips, I opened one and it exploded straight up when I touched it. <laughs> it was like, went up, came down, landed on my toes, on my shoe. I'm going to put some of that right in there. This is that Venetian blue. Or that's a color shift. I don't know. And this is my favorite. That's the one that exploded. I just made some more of this. I think I might be tempted to put a little more black in again. That is a color that I used the bottle that was the old Venetian blue bottle. I'm going to throw a little bit of black enamel in there because the enamel will often make things sell. Now, i got to choose if I want something in my sky. I really want to try that berry. Let's just try it. Let's try the berry. With a few other favorites. I'm going to see if I can keep from knocking my paint over. I'm going to go from halfway over. Scrape it off across the top. Halfway over again, scrape it off across the top, and push that down. Then I'm gonna, that is in my way. <laughs> I'm running over my paint with my turntable every time. So I kind of want enough paint on my spatula. Red sky at night, or whenever. That, um, the folk art flash, color shifting purple. It's a lot on the sheer side. So this is a little risky. And I'm just going to use my OXO omelette turning miraculous spatula. Available on the Amazon link under the link tree. First link. I think it is the first link under show more under the video. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I just really want that canvas to disappear. I probably could have blown into it with a straw. We'll take a chance. I don't want to waste any of that color though, I've got to tell you what. I'm just going to scrape that all right off. Use my finger. Hey, there's space for more paint on the other side, go figure. Alright, as let, I really don't want to waste any of that. I know, I'm hardcore. Those are going in the bucket. This is going to get scooped right up the middle.
Go down the middle, make sure there's nothing on there, and scraped out. Really didn't put an excess amount of greens in there, but I guess that's where our landscape is going to reflect our sky. So I'm trying to show you guys it really doesn't matter as long as you got some cool stuff. I've got some neat cells popping. I've got a little tiny edge catcher, which will be perfect right about now. So I'm going to send all that down to the bottom the first time. And then I'm going to send it back up again. I'm going to send it all over. I might put some green in there. I could. Send it down. We can do all kinds of stuff with a little tiny canvas. Much easier than manipulating a large one. I'm going to scrape that paint right off up and send it up to the place I want it. If I want more paint, whoops. If I want more paint, it's dripping right off onto my turntable. So I've got cool patterns, and I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to let that paint drain right off, because I like the stretching effect. And then I have a choice to scrape it off with a spatula, or to put it back on the other side. You can put a waterfall in there. I'm going to use my remaining spatula. I've got plenty of paint to use if I want it. But what I want to do is use the paint I've got. So that's a cute and obnoxious little scape. Just exactly what I had in mind sort of thing. I'm going to be cleaning some spatulas after this. I will tend to use every bit of paint I've got because this paint is not inexpensive. I used to wait for 40% off coupons and there aren't any presently. Now whatever I want to do with this, I kind of want to put something in there. And that makes me think that it would be nice if I just filled in whatever was handy and some of that's a color shifting green gold that's a minty green color shifting from folk art and I think I'm going to put a little purple in there too just making a little puddle pour having some fun then I'm going to take the blunt end of my skewer and take my puddle as far as it'll go I'm going to tip that because everything else has been tipped fairly well see if I can send it right down there and back again I want to fill in I might want to draw some lines down. There's my waterfall. I might want to drag some of that color right down. Put the blunt end of the skewer. I'm going to roll that skewer. I'm tempted to put a little bit of light colored blue on the top of that just to make it look more like a reflection. So that's kind of cute. I like it. Let's see if I can show you before I do anything else strange. I didn't use my turquoise. I wonder what that'll look like.
Yeah, that looks kind of like what I wanted it to look like. Maybe one more drop of that blue. I think so. I want to put some white at the bottom. Some white metallic might be cool. That will look like a little bit like the water is bouncing up. Let's just make it subtle. Not a lot, just really simple. Maybe one more right here. Maybe a little right there. Just twisting around that skewer. Just twisting it, making little spirals or whatever, similar shapes to spirals. Here we go. There's my tiny, tiny waterfall and funky fun colors. I have no canvas left. I'm going to torch really quickly. i got five minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address, if you want to contact me, is directly under the link tree link, which is under show more underneath the video. I love that waterfall. I love those, that whatever that is. <laughs> those rocks. I even love my sky. Even though I tend to wonder if I could do something with that. What was I don't know what just came out of there. I think it was a beetle. <laughs> but in any case, I think that also means not to do that again and I'm done. So I am going to torch one more time to release the bubble shot in the paint. I don't think there should be any in the sky because I swiped that. I'm going to tell you guys, if you shop my Teespring clothing underneath the video, that's all over print leggings and t-shirts you'll find there. And uh, Fine Art America and Pixels.com are, are, you can get to via the links under the video under the link tree or also by going to Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio uh, Totes and More. Also on the link tree along with Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for, uh, for students. And um, you can find the nightly video there. Yeah, I want to do that. You can find a video there every night pretty much for what's the midnight showing. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Underneath the uh, link tree link are also Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. I give art lessons at the house. You can call me or you can email me rather and then I'll give you my number and you can call me and we'll talk about that. Um, I have PayPal and Patreon for anybody who wants to continue giving me uh, donations and it will enter you automatically in the monthly drawing. You can see the prizes for the monthly drawing that happens in the third week of most months unless something comes up and uh, the exhibition video that shows those prizes is on the end screen in the last 20 seconds of any video. I love you guys. I gotta make a better crib sheet. I'm sure there's stuff I'm forgetting like all over the place. Um, I'm a mum mum. I don't like umming. I have a playlist with over 1360 videos and should you be interested they're organized by genre and by the number. And please feel free to go there. Look for my books on the Amazon link called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And the OXO Omelette Turning Spatula Flip and Fold. And the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas that I use all the time. So I think I'm done. <laughs> Check your notifications. Watch the videos longer if you can. Uh, thank you guys for all the wonderful comments you leave me. And thank you for all the donations you've left me in the past. I love you guys. I wonder if I can zoom in on that. I can't see anything today because it's so bright out here. I think, and I'm guessing, that needs to go forward. I changed my camera angle. Let's hope you can see that. I love you guys. There's almost 87,000 of you. And uh, I will see you again soon. Anon, maybe tomorrow. I post every day. I love you very much. Bye for now. Priscilla out.